Well, at least we did it. Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? Oh, <laughs> we're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? No, I don't think so. I was afraid of that. I don't know anything. Mike sure as hell doesn't. <laughs> I don't even know how to ask Jane. And that just leaves... Kenny. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. 
That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think it's if me. it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> But he hates me. Huh. Yes, yes, I know. Can he? We need your help, with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Kenny, you're not... You're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Uh-oh. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What kind of stuff do babies need when they're being born? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but... Thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah, 
I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. <sighs> Maybe she can teach me new tricks again. That'll be fun. Jesus, my game. <laughs> Slightly good. Glitchy. Glitchy. Uh, English. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well... It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. <laughs> I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Yeah, well, surviving out here isn't really peachy keen. Hey, cannon. Look at that. Damn, it's locked. Check this out. This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The oh, nail man. file? Versatility is not overrated. You gotta be like Elizabeth. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Okay. That's... that's not gonna do anything. Hmm. Ooh, a telescope! I wanna use it. <laughs> I guess it's broken. Oh. A telescope. Okay, what exactly are we looking for? What's this? Civil War. Is there something in here? Find anything? No, not even trash. Hmm. Can we really check the cannon for this? And I'm stuck. Because there's something there. Yeah. You think this thing still works? <laughs> check the muzzle, Napoleon. <laughs> oh. They fell in with cement, so they're safe. Oh. Okay. So I can kind of go faster. All right. Uh, invisible wall. Awesome. Can we go inside? I can talk to you. But can we? No. Hmm. Hey, another telescope. Are you broken too? No, it's not. Awesome. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. 
Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. <gasps> 